Hi, I'm Charles Duan, and I present to you my tutorial on how to solve the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube. The program I am using is called Magic Puzzle Ultimate, not Magic Cube 4D. Also, the link to this program is in the description. So, let's talk about what the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube has. The four-dimensional Rubik's Cube has eight faces. So, you, here you can see seven of the eight faces, while the eighth face is actually hidden. The reason why the eighth face is hidden is because if it were actually shown, it would be obstructing your whole view and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So, if I rotate the cube four-dimensionally, as you can see, the eighth face is right here. So, the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube comprises of four different pieces. We have the one color pieces, basically the fixed centers, like you see on a Rubik's Cube. There are eight of them. Then, the two colors, basically the edges, um, they are these centers of these cubes, the faces. And then, we have the three color pieces, which are these edges of the, of the cubes, also analogous to the corners of a normal Rubik's Cube. And then we have the four color pieces, these corners. And so, first things first, you must know how to solve a Rubik's Cube edges first. Basically, you solve a Rubik's Cube, and you can solve the edges first, and then the corners second. You must know how to solve a Rubik's Cube in that fashion first in order to ever take any look at solving a four-dimensional Rubik's Cube. The reason so is because that's basically the approach we are going to be taking towards solving this monster. And so, speaking of which, here's the approach we're going to be using. Basically, we're going to be solving the two color pieces first, which are going to which is going to be easy, and then the three colors, and then the four colors. Now, let me show you how to twist the four dimensional Rubik's Cube. And please note, this way also works for Magic Cube 4D should you want to use that program. So first you twist the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube by clicking on a two-colored piece, which are these little centers here. If you click it, if you left-click the two-colored piece, it goes counterclockwise. If you right-click it, you probably know what happens. It goes clockwise. All there is to it. Now, don't worry about edge twists like these, as simple twists could accommodate like that. Also corner twists. Simple twists could always accommodate for them. So don't even worry about edge twists. Don't let those intimidate you at all. There are nothing to be looked at yet. And so that basically closes my introduction to the four dimensional Rubik's Cube. Coming up is going to be how to solve the two color pieces of the four dimensional Rubik's Cube, like this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.